Hey, Sausage Sleuth, it's me, your favorite Sausage Sleuth, Joe. Welcome to a new Nancy Drew game. This is Nancy Drew, the final scene. And here's why I'm playing this one, because this one takes place in St. Louis. I've never played it before, but I, I read the, the plot, what's going on. It takes place in St. Louis. My whole family lives in St. Louis. I'm going to St. Louis later this week. So, and I, you know, I've been to St. Louis a lot of times. My sisters lived there for like a decade, but... You know, let's get a sneak peek. I haven't been in a couple years. So um, I've forgotten what it's like. Let's go ahead and start up a new game. So this is one of the older ones, right? Because we don't have her desk. We don't Dear have- Beth, remember oh, Maya Wynn from high school? I'm visiting her in St. Louis. We have tickets what? to tonight's premiere of the new Brady Armstrong movie, Vanishing Destiny. Isn't that Washington, D.C.? It's the last <laughs> screening ever at the Royal Palladium. This place has been a landmark for almost a century. And now in just is that a real three place? days, it's going to be demolished. I wish I could have seen the theater Curtains. back in the 20s before it was turned into a movie house. All the great magicians performed here, even Harry Houdini. Harry There's Houdini, a lot of who would play her? to the loss of this historic building. Rumor has it local activists are planning to stage a big <laughs> protest out front tonight. The theater will be closed when we arrive, but they'll let us in since no. Maya is covering the story for the university newspaper. Not the oh press boy, pass. The press pass sure does come in handy. Maya told me she has an interesting lead. And we're on our way to interview Brady Armstrong about the controversy now. Not the controversy. I know he's one of your favorite stars. Stay tuned. Maya always gets the full scoop. Talk to you soon. Love, Nancy. So back in the 20s, does that mean the 1920s or the 1820s? Probably the 1920s. Day one, the Royal Pal Palladium. Okay, Nancy, here I go. Okay. Your fingers. There's a story behind this door. Why is she going go in the men's them, dressing scoop. room? Meet you in the lobby. Did she? Testing. Wish me luck. Testing. I'm going in One, the men's two, dressing three, room. Is this thing on? Hello. What is going on? Go check out the snacks. I guess he, she's interviewing him in there. That sounds like Maya. Help! Nancy! Oh, it's me now. Me about to sneak into the men's dressing room? Ha ha ha, hope I don't trip and fall onto <laughs> a pile of sweaty clothing. Okay, she's clearly not in here, but the wallpaper. The wallpaper, I can see why they're tearing this place down, let's just say that. I hear a phone. This must Hello? be a phone. Listen carefully. <laughs> if they knock the theater down, the girl goes with it. What? Who is this? It's Anna Wintour. Hello? Hello? <laughs> Anna Wintour? Oh my God. The mystery. So Maya's been kidnapped. Maya's been kidnapped. Oh. Bring You'll never again. get away Anna Wintour. with this. Do you hear me? What do you want? I saw the September issue. It wasn't even a good documentary. You're messing with the You're wrong girls. You're messing with the wrong girls, whoever you are. She's a reporter, and I'm a detective, and we don't scare easy. Jigsaw. Uh, I'm Joseph Hughes, the caretaker. I'm looking That's almost my show. name. He said he'd be there. Who's this? And what's all the excitement? Oh. Just my friend is dead, and I didn't call the police. My friend has disappeared. Brady's not here. Oh, I have Brady's to go. Brady's not here. I'm busy. I'm sorry, but I have to go. Something's gone terribly wrong. Now, now. Or terribly right, on. depending on if what she was a good idea? friend. Oh, what's my name, dear? Oh, um, I'm Nancy. Probably that. My friend Maya's gone, and I just received a threatening phone call from the kidnapper. Whoa! They must have taken her through that secret passageway. Holy smokes! Not Here the secret passages line. this that call early. Come from inside the building. We <gasps> are quick. You check out the secret passageway. I'll make sure all the exits are locked, and then I'll come find you. The call was coming from inside the building. No groupies in the dressing rooms. But since you're such a rascally fan, what would you say to a signed autograph from yours truly? Why is that Trinity the Tuck? <laughs> we have to end the video. <laughs> what is this horrible shirt? What is this horrible shirt? <laughs> we have to end the video. We have to end the video. <laughs> A rascally fan. 
All right. I would like to excuse myself from this dressing room. I'm not here for an autograph. I guess we should talk My about the kidnapping. Been kidnapped. Kidnapped? Maybe you better tell me what's going on here. What's going on is your hair gel seems to have chunked up on your head. Oh, I heard Maya scream. I don't have time for you. I don't have you. time to explain. I don't have time the for you in this may shirt. still be in the building. I need to search this room. Do you mind? Sure thing. How can I help? Let me tell you about this shirt he's wearing. This is one of those shirts that is all, you know what type, it's, yeah, it's knit. And it's always stretched out of shape. You buy this shirt, you wear it more than once, it is stretched out of shape. And that's on period. This is the worst kind of shirt you can buy. And it never, it doesn't even look good. Oh, um. She may still be in the building. We've got to search I'm not this super place concerned. from top to bottom. Roger. <laughs> oh, okay. He just ran away, so that that is what it is. Oh, I've been looking for art. The thing that we're lacking in our place right now is art. All right, that's clearly that's clearly a secret passage. <laughs> we just had to figure out how to open it. That's clearly a secret passage. Someone was watching. They've been watching the actress pee in the corner. A guitar. Yeah, this wallpaper. I can definitely see why this place is getting torn down. Um, okay, that's- a Oh my god! That's Harry Houdini's wand, I bet! I just know it. I love antiques. I would like that radio. Is that Houdini? Oh my god. Is that Houdini? That probably opened the secret passage. Is that? No, he had a beard. He had the beard, right? Oh yeah, that's where, that's the, that's where you pee is in that sink. It's locked. Well. It's locked. Okay, okay. <laughs> I was gonna do some magic. Can I look at the other stuff? I wanna, I'm really wanting to snoop in the skincare situation. Oh, birdcage. Well, don't worry. We'll make our way back to the other. Oh, can I call 911? No, I can call. Oh, this is just an. I can only call other places inside the theater. Okay. All right. I, you know, I don't expect to go through a secret passage this early in a Nancy Drew game. I'm assuming we're going to find turds in the walls like we usually do. They're shitting in the walls. <laughs> Bachel. The snake was here. Oh my god. This is the second Harry Potter book. This is a basilisk situation. Kate? Cat? Oh my god. This is the Chamber of Secrets! I understand. Oh. I guess this is someone else's wardrobe? I may have to cut this short, Hal. Someone just climbed out of my wardrobe. <laughs> Can't you see I'm on the phone here? Um, this is an emergency. I'm looking for a 19-year-old girl with black hair. <laughs> Let's just go with my, my friend's, friend's been, been kidnapped. kidnapped. <laughs> Listen, sweetheart, I have a premiere tonight and no stylist for my star. So don't tell me about problems. You don't understand. I think my friend's... Uh, but this is an emergency. I love her jacket, I said, first of all. Scram. It's very cheetah licious, as the cheetah girls would say. So I guess I went into the women's this dressing room. Calls priority. Try me later. I like her cool, calm, and collected attitude. Oh my god. I wish I could zoom in on these. Part of me thinks those are just like real people's faces photoshopped onto like old timey. CGI models or something. Oh, the pee sink. See, I told y'all it was a pee sink. There's a plunger in it. What do you need a plunger for? Turds. <laughs> Turds. Oh my God, wait, why am I looking at this? There's nothing to see. This is like, um, I, I just don't know why I'm looking at that. I, I just don't know why I spent so long looking at that turd juice. 
old files, books. God, y'all, I love antiques. I would just, I mean, I'm not saying I would ditch my kidnapped friend to look through all these antiques, but it's tempting. Look at all this cool shit. I hope they're going to clear it out before they burn it down or whatever they're going to do. Okay, so that's back in the wardrobe. Y'all, I love antiques. <laughs> Guess I'm leaving. Well, if she went in the secret passage, then that woman obviously must have seen her. You would think, right? <gasps> All the world is a stage. I feel like I'm on the Gilded Age right now. Wouldn't that be funny? <laughs> Not funny. No, I was going to say if we just saw someone trip off the balcony, but I don't mean that's not funny. Like funny haha, -ha, but like funny suspicious, you know. And then it turned out it was a ghost and then Ghost Hunters International showed up. Not like funny haha. -ha. <laughs> that was an they they scanned an actual quarter. Rufus Smoke and Mirrors Brown. I feel like these magicians are tricky. And I feel like they've probably left like if I tap on their picture with a with a wand, it's going to do something. Do you know what I mean? That's just a very magician thing to do. Dizzy Notion? Dizzy Notion? Did they all ha do they have puns as names and I haven't noticed that? What the hell is there a the loudest motorcycle in the world is outside my window right now. <laughs> oh, this is my moment. I don't know if y'all can hear that, but it sounds like someone has started a dead by daylight generator outside of our window. Do you hear that? You hear that? No, there's literally a dead by daylight generator. You can hear that. Okay, it's picking up every time I talk, but otherwise we're fine. My God, do you hear that? There they go. When I'm playing my Nancy Drew game? During my Let's Play series of a Nancy Drew game? Sounds like a gator. Is that a type of motorcycle? They left. They're gone. Can we just... Can we just say that loud motorcycles are not the move? Am I the only one brave enough to say it? And I'll say it on the stage, sis. I'll get up here on the stage and I'll say it. Okay, the arrows, I do have to say the arrows in this game where you click are a little bit confusing. And some of them are like slightly off screen. How did the motorcycle fucking come back? Okay, it's gone. I thought it was doing donuts or something. In front of my Nancy Drew game? <laughs> Nebula sauce. Thank you so much for the bids. I should do like the brats on that stage. And just like do a few different poses and then walk away. In a few different poses in silence. Nebraska. Is that a real? Another great Rogers and... Cumberstum. Oh, it's Oklahoma is the real one, isn't it? It's Oklahoma is the real one. Oh, this game is sure likes to be funny. Lori Brin and Ted Sachi, wonderful city. Are these fake? King Liam. Are these, these are supposed to be like puns or something, right? Oh, I got turned around. Just close that back up. <laughs> I don't seem to be able to leave the theater though. She's probably dead by now. Right? I mean, this place is so small. Where could she have been? Do I have a checklist? <gasps> Maybe just not yet? Leah, let's look around backstage. That's what we should be doing. This is behind the screen. Behind the scenes. 
We need to talk about how... Oh, yeah, that's right. We need to talk about how the camera looks nowhere that I really want to look. There it is. Maybe they called from that phone. So that's where the thing leads to. Yeah, there were some there were some doors back here that I didn't try. Harry Houdini. For the witness a once in a lifetime event right here in St. Louis as the masterful Houdini is plunged into the water. Did he die doing that? You have to make your own checklist? I don't do that. 1925. Oh. This is where you go. Heist. Oh, you can go upstairs. Oh, wow. Oh, little known fact. As someone who lives in D.C. and often has to give tours to other people who, when they visit. Lincoln did not die in the Lincoln Theater because it wasn't, it didn't exist till after he died or something like that. Because you don't get, because then they made the theater after he was president. But you go to Lincoln Theater and you think this is where it happened. It's not. Even though they have a big old head of Abraham Lincoln, a big old creepy head of Abraham Lincoln right in the front of it, though. I'm just giving y'all the facts. There's got to be someone else in here. What happened to Brady? Oh! St. Louis Police Department and <gasps> calling to report a kidnapping. 911 worked! No. Hold on, miss. I'll transfer you to missing persons. The kidnapping is in progress, though. I'm calling to report a kidnapping. No longer in progress. And who am I speaking with, please? My name is Nancy Drew. Okay, Miss Drew. Now, did you witness this kidnapping? No, but I heard it. What exactly did you hear? My friend went into a dressing room. I was out in the hall. And I heard her scream, so I went in after her, but she was gone. When and where did this happen? Just now, at the Royal Palladium Theater. And what's your friend's name, Miss Drew? Maya Wynn. Can you spell that, please? M-A-Y-A, -A, last name N-G-U-Y-E-N. -E Age? 19. I can't believe this is working. She's Asian American. And this I is like a long five, conversation. Five, long black hair. So you didn't actually witness anything, is that right? I heard her screaming, and I received a threatening phone call. That must count for something. A threat. Can you describe the a voice? A threat. Was it a man or a woman? It, it was, was Anna Wintour. I think they were using some voice disguise device. Hmm, yes. That'll make it impossible to tell the gender of the caller. Did you notice anything suspicious looking in the vicinity? No. This is no a long suspect. conversation. Any visible signs of struggle in the dressing room? Did your friend leave anything behind? Her purse? Anything that might have fallen out of her pockets? No. No. Evidence. We haven't seen her since, what, Did high school? At the theater? No, she's a student at Washington University. How do we know Did she doesn't have, have any enemies? enemies? Maya? I highly doubt it. And what business did Maya have entering the theater dressing room? She's a reporter for this the school. This is why theater. is it so thorough? She was there to do an interview. What about Maya's parents? Have they been contacted? They're in Vietnam this it time. It sounds of like year. it's supposed to be like a contact them. like a 1920s okay, detective. I'll file this report. After 24 hours, if she hasn't turned up, we consider her a missing person, then begin to investigate. How can she turn up? She's been kidnapped. Do oh, I have 24 God. hours? With all the scuttlebutt around this demolition, this stinks of student prank. A prank? But this building is going to be demolished in 72 hours. How can <gasps> you afford to take that chance? 72 hours? A kidnapper must be holding her in the building, don't you think? Unlikely. No competent kidnapper keeps her captive anywhere near the scene of the abduction. Is there anything else, Miss Drew? Sergeant, I really don't think we can afford to wait 24 hours. It's standard procedure, Miss Drew. Unless you can provide us with some evidence that your friend was taken by force. Scuttlebutt. Hours. Who's Thanks, Joe? Sergeant. I'll call you back when I have the evidence. You do that. Bye. I'm the last person I'm calling. Should I call him back? Be like, by the way, what are you wearing? Ha 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 ha. By the way. <laughs> You've 
have reached the St. Louis Police Department. <laughs> this is a non-emergency line. Calls will be answered in the order they were received. This is not a real accent. What is this? We will be with you as soon as possible. Your patience is appreciated. Oh, that's nice. I just, I'm not going to wait for that, though. Oh, here's things. Is 314 actually a St. Louis area code? I actually don't know St. Louis area codes. ABC Media Services, posters, etc. <gasps> City garbage. Did I call one of them? Oh my God, do I have to remember e these phone numbers? Uh, KitKat was, yeah, that one, one works. Thank you so much for the bids. Nervadon, thank you for the 25 months. <gasps> thank you so much. We will win. Don't worry about that. Uh, Kit Kat Moss, thank you for the bits again. Baby Olives, great to see you. Boxed mac and cheese. That's not for me. Justin loves those, but that's not for me. Thank you so much for the bits. Lefty Lucy with the nine months. Thank you so much as well. Great to see you. Uber Winch, thank you for the bits. And not a turd sink. Uh, Loco Chocobo, thank you for the bits too. I appreciate that. Thank you, thank you. And Andrew Zawana, thank you so much for the uh, 16 months. Hope your Monday's going well. Thank you, thank you. I Personally, I think we should take the tape dispenser. Y'all know how hard it is to find a good... I have a really great tape dispenser. I do have to tell you, I think it's Scotch. I think it's Scotch brand. I can't, like, review the computer this looks like a videotape i might want to look at there are not any security cameras in here nancy i have to say oh, those pants are so interestingly shaped <laughs> no no vanishing destiny No. No teeny boppers till showtime. <laughs> House rules. Oh, was he the one who was going to do the protest or something? Have you seen my friend? She's Have you seen my friend gone. Maya? She's 19, 5'5", five, five, Those shorts hair. are hateful. She has on running shoes, jeans, and a black shirt with butterflies Form on it. Warm-fitting cargo shorts. Is... Oh, um... She's she missing. went into Brady Armstrong's dressing room and disappeared. Good old Charmstrong. Why are women always losing themselves over him? This is serious. His surly... Oh, let's insult him. <laughs> Who are you? His surly <laughs> understudy? Hollywood? The fantastic plastic vacuum? I wouldn't go there in a pig's suitcase. I'm Nicholas Falcone, solemnly sworn to lead the forces of Haddit and slay the dragon of corporate generica. Who are you? And what's with the slay doom and gloom? Slay queen. Not in that t-shirt, hunty. We're gonna have to get you boots the house down makeover, sis. Get you some highlights, pluck those eyebrows. Get you some concealer wig. That's what we're gonna have to do. No life behind those eyes. <laughs> his, his, the voice actor kind of sounds like they're, they called in on the phone, too. Um... I'm Nancy Drew. I was just on the phone with yeah, the police. Yeah, the audio sounds what like What are you calling them for? For my Little answering machine. Your tax dollars going bad? Um. Well, you're a breath of optimism. <laughs> What's this had it all about? Haven't you heard? The battle is on. There's a human chain forming out front as we speak. <gasps> but all that can wait. It's obvious you got a situation. So what's up? A human chain? This is like a human centipede situation, huh? My friend's been kidnapped. Um... My friend's been kidnapped. I've got to start searching this place. Whew. Kidnapping? <laughs> That's a high-profile tactic. Somebody means business. So what's the demands? You know, I do like the middle part, though. Middle parts are in. The thing I wouldn't change is his hair. Except for some highlights. Uh, oh, kidnapping. The phone call was awful. Suddenly, Maya's fate is tied to this theater. Suddenly, oh, Maya's shit. fate is tied to this theater. They said that well, if it gets demolished, in 72 hours, she'll go with it. We don't no really have kidding. to worry about it. <laughs> That'll blast those bureaucrats and corporate bigwigs out of their dream world. Applause for the cause. We need all the help we can get. Um... 
You must be joking if you think any building is worth place, more Nancy. than a human life. And it's a lousy joke, yeah, by the way. I can't way. tell how I'm old sorry. he is. I know you're upset, but they won't mess with your friend. They just took her for effect. It's called making a statement. So this is just a pretend kidnapping? A statement? They'll let her go down a with statement. the... Oh, yeah, that's right. They said they'll let Maya go down with the building if it gets demolished. I haven't asked her myself. But something tells me that's a statement she'd rather not make. This is gonna go She'll great for okay. her news story, Trust though. Me. We know Nancy's gonna find her. She's fine. Uh, I'm not about to take that chance, right? I need to start searching for evidence. Right. I need to start searching for evidence, but I'll be back with more questions for you, Nicholas. Fight the power. <laughs> what do I do? What do I do with this? What do I do with this information? Um, <laughs> see, buddy, thank you. Yes, there's a human centipede outside. Thank you so much for the bits. Haley Sticks, thank you for the seven months. Don't worry, you haven't missed much. It's um just now getting interesting, to say the least. He's got those shorts hiked so far up his crack. Great, thank you so much, Haley. Brit Steps, thank you for the bits. Kit Kat Moss, thank you for the bits too. <laughs> This is the I don't even understand the crisis either. Uh, Hyper Sprite, thank you for the bits as well. I appreciate that. Well, let's save it. Nothing saved here. Oh, you don't even get to pick your own name for. Oh, you know you do. Hi. <laughs> don't worry, we got it. I got it under control. Um. This VT phone home. Thank you for the bits, though. And what you say? Thank you for the bits, too. Don't worry. Daylight saving time's got us all messed up. I'd like it to never happen again. Oh, do they have raisinets? Controversial. Raisinets are very controversial. A lot of people don't agree with um, a fruit. From the, okay, from the waist up, he's like 20. And from the waist down, he's like 75. Do you know? What is going? I'm surprised he doesn't have socks on with the sandals. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. Let me scroll down. I'm having a hard time keeping up with you kiddos. Sicily Gain, thank you for the bits. Good to see you. Oh, yeah, it's Pie Day. Dinsla, thank you so much for the bits. I appreciate that. Thank you, thank you. Um, I don't know. Can we steal this cutout? Wait, what did happen to Brady? He better be on the stage giving a monologue. <laughs> I need him on the stage giving a monologue. Oh, can we leave the theater? I don't think we can leave. Oh, that wasn't the... Wait, where, then where is the exit? Y'all, without a checklist, do you ever feel like you just are lost in life? I, didn't, I don't think I realized how much... Oh, that looks like fun. The bee's knees. Newly refurbished. Not the jazz machine. Move the note to the lower left corner. In the lower left corner to the dancers in the upper right. Oh, I get it. Oh, these. Oh, the music notes are trying to kill me, aren't they? This is just like that snake and coyote game or whatever. I do like jazz, actually, but I'm not, like, I probably don't, I listen to a playlist called Smooth Jazz Piano, <laughs> and I, then that's, it. oh, I'm really dead now, huh? You think I would want to collect more music notes? Oh, okay. I listen to this playlist called Smooth Jazz Piano. I really like it. Really gives me the funky. 
And DC, big jazz city. Big jazz city. I think I know what I'm gonna do here. Oh, I didn't expect it to go that way. I have an idea, though. Oh, ah! Well, I guess I'm dead. All right, don't tell me. Don't tell me. Y'all know I like to solve... Well, y'all know I like to try these a few times myself. What was I gonna do? Oh, reset. go on a journey. <gasps> there we go. That little turd is snatched. At least one away from me. This is really like a three second loop, isn't it? Yes, yes it is. It's three seconds. <laughs> Yeah, it's kick at most. You gotta have a little fun for yourself too when your when your friend goes missing. You gotta have some you gotta do some self-care. Thank you for the bits. Yeah, Morgan, thank you for the bits too. I hope your meeting goes well. Uh simply Yasmin, thank you for the two months. Great to have you here. Thank you, thank you. Uh and Henry! Oh no. Thank you for the bits. Crying and farting. How aggressive Nancy is in this. She does seem very... Well, I mean, to be fair, her friend is literally missing. Thank you so much for the bits. I have an idea. Oh. That wasn't the idea, but I think I did just do it. That wasn't the idea, but it did work. <gasps> it's a paw penny. Royal Palladium token? I have a quarter and I have that. I wonder if I can get some raisinets with that. I'm done with this hallway shit. This place is just a big old loop. Oh. I don't know why I keep trying to use the magic wand on portraits, okay? It's just who I am, it's just what I'm doing. The Merchant of Milano. Oh. <gasps> William. Oh, William Shaker. What? Surely you could... You... James? Jehoshaphat Thompson, born in Hannibal, Missouri. Thompson was the fifth son of Jasper Jiminy Thompson and Mary Tally Monroe. Selling tickets... <gasps> to see one of his older brothers birthing a calf? How did how did his brother give birth to a calf? Anyway, I don't care about that. <laughs> how did his brother <laughs> We do have fun, don't we? We do have fun. I guess we'll go back and talk to her in the dressing room, maybe. Not that's the magic part. Did Brady ever go back to his dressing room? Oh, I hope I didn't walk in on him peeing in his pee- in, Oh! In his piss sink. Any news? Oh, she passed. I just heard. <laughs> um... How do you keep up with all of your fans? Why are we Brady? buttering him up? A star like you must get hundreds of emails. Hundreds? Try thousands. <laughs> all my email goes through Simone. She reads it, she writes back. Control issues, you know? Off the record, any message that says love Brady is just a big electronic smooch from her. Uh. Do you mind if I take a look around in here? Be my guest. It's like. It feels Talk to like you later, Brady. You betcha. It feels like they got Nancy Drew's voice in like a nice studio recording studio. And then it sounds like they got all the other voice actors in like 
to leave messages on an answering machine with their voice lines. Like the answering machines with the tapes in them. That's what it sounds like. It's locked. That's the vibe. I, I better go talk to his agent. Is the wardrobe hole still... Is the war... Is the wall of sea still open? No. Hey, Chloe, how's it going? Not your hose of fat. Baby Olives, thank you so much for the bits. I appreciate that. Thank you, thank you. Um, Jehoshaphat's a real name, though, right? Hold on, we gotta pop in the wall, let's see. Poka Joe! Oh, Karen, thank you so much for the bids, and thank you, I... That makes me happy. I love that. Thank you so much. I love playing oh, Pokemon Legends Arceus. That game was just freaking amazing. You think she would have dropped like Hansel and Gretel, like a trail of turds or something to help me find? But there's just nothing. Thank you so much, Karen. Skybox, thank you for the bids. Oh. She, so Lana Minnelli recorded separately. Well, she's like, she's got to have like a recording booth in her house. Uh, thank you so much for the bids. April Cosmosis, thank you so much for the bids as well. I love them. These have been a hoot and a holler. I'm telling you. These are my favorite things to stream lately. I do like taking them slow though. Slower than maybe some people would like. <laughs> she's this cool. calls priority. Try me later. Her Chanel backpack. Her fake Chanel backpack. I spotted it. I said it. I spotted it. I clocked it. Old files. You think I'd be able to like touch things? They're antiques. You're supposed to touch them. Like this? Have I gone everywhere? I I mean, it's I have to make phone calls, don't I? I knew this day would come. I'm not calling Ned. I refuse to call Ned. Oh, this is like the box office. Oh, this is where they sell tickets. Oh, I understand where I am now. Okay. Let's call, um, yeah, I'll make a quick note of these first. I have one more person to meet. Where the hell are they? Take a picture of these so I don't have to write them down. Look around some more. Is it upstairs? Should I go upstairs? There's one more place you found it after three hours of cake. Tell me that. All right, it's upstairs, clearly. Wasn't there a staircase over there? <gasps> the turning is what really gets me in this game. I have to be honest. I would like some more options of where to look, where to turn. Y'all want me to... Oh! There was one that was missing it over there, wasn't there? One of these was missing on the other side, I think. Hold on. Can Nancy not, like, walk just, like, to the right? What if she went to the right? All right, we'll go up the other set of stairs. Nancy said it's leg day. Nancy said it's leg day. Yeah, that one's missing. This one's missing. <laughs> Am I Nancy Drew? We just said the same thing. This one's missing. 
Is, is that this not... This one's missing. Is that not what it is? Is it a quarter? This one's missing. Okay, it's not a quarter. We're not the same person anymore. Now I just... Now I'm annoyed at her. Okay, so there's clearly a... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Was that it? God damn it, Nancy. <laughs> All right, hold on. Okay, I'm gonna go up the other side again. There we go. That's what I thought. Oh, this is like Phantom of... <gasps> this is like Phantom of the Opera! Uh, Flabotanist, thank you for the bids. Not Joe and C. Drew. Uh. Oh, thank you so much again, Karen. <laughs> Have you heard? <laughs> it's such a good phrase, but I stole that Watch from Trixie. Watch out there, Nancy. That projector's crumbling like a prehistoric cookie. Who the hell said that? And who knows my name? Oh! Thank you so much, Karen. And Automatopia, great to see you. Thank you for you the must be 26 Nancy. months. The worry's written all over your face. Well, I'm Joe. I started to look for you, but then I figured better to park myself and let you find me. Any trace of your friend? Did Bill Clinton get in the witness protection program? <laughs> Bill Clinton in the witness protection program now works at an old rundown theater. In St. Louis. What do you mean what accent is that? That was Bill Clinton accent. Wait, how does he know who we are? Did we meet him already? Oh, he just said I'm Joe. But how did he... How did he know my name was Nancy, though? I found the secret passageway all right, but no sign of Maya. I can't believe this is happening. Well, what about calling the police? There's an outside line in the ticket booth. Oh, I did that. Um... They said 24 hours, which is not real. I already spoke to them. According to their policy, Maya's not officially missing yet. If I want their help before tomorrow, I have to come up with some evidence of foul play. But this theater's gonna be torn down in three days. Did you tell them that? It's unlikely the kidnapper would keep her in the building. They say it's unlikely that the kidnapper Allegedly. would keep her in the building. Well, I checked all the outside doors and, and they're locked up tight. Only folks who've been in the theater all day are Brady and Simone, you and Maya, Nicholas Falcone, and myself. Falcone? How can you be sure? Are you are you counting are you yourself? Are you counting yourself as a suspect? With those suspenders? I was up here in the projector room, sound testing for the premiere. But I'd be disappointed in your detective work if you didn't put me through the ringer like a regular suspect. Sound testing. Yes, I think. <gasps> He works in audio, and they used a fucking voice Heidi thingy. Sound testing. Yeah, I think I remember hearing you practicing your MC voice now that you mention it. I reckon if the kidnapper wants the demolition stopped, they must be keeping Maya somewhere in the building. Hmm, I didn't Did mention, I what, the mention what the kidnapper said. Oh, I think so. Or maybe Brady told me when I saw him in the hall. He seems eager to help. I, okay. My educated guess is this man has done it. <laughs> he is so far way too suspicious. Whenever someone says, I saw someone else and they filled me in, that's usually what happens. Well, anyway, I agree. They've done a really... She's got to be if somewhere it's him, in the building, and I plan to find evidence to prove it. That's the spirit. Now, what's your plan of attack? They've done a really bad way of concealing it. Especially, like, half the time in a murder mystery, the person who's, like, helping you the most, it ends up being them. Time to start searching. Operation Busta Kidnapper is about to begin. Where can I get an As insider's an guide to all of the secret passages in this place? Try calling county administration. The records division keeps that type of stuff. I bet a blueprint would show secret passages that even I've never found. Ask for the original plans, not the ones from the 56 remodel. Interesting. 
What was the 56 remodel all about? J.J. Thompson, the original owner, died in 1950. His kids inherited it and decided that movie theaters were the wave of the future. Anyway, oh, I spent yes. the last 40-something years finding my way around this place, so let me know if I can help. Thanks, Joseph. Don't let the turkeys get you down. What? Turkeys? I thought Don't we were touch dealing. that projector, dear. It's a temperamental old beast. Dealing with human centipedes and now turkeys? Does he pop out? Ah! <gasps> His suspenders aren't even tightened correctly. His pants are just going to fall right down. <gasps> Coca-Cola. Let's go out to the lobby. She really just takes whatever she wants, doesn't she? That was like a projector thing. And she just took it. She just stole it. Nancy Drew steals things. Oh. I don't know what that is. Projector something. Bug spray? Poison? We find Maya in that locker, but we just pretend we don't see it because we want a mystery so bad. <laughs> Nancy just slowly closes it back. Oh, a piss sink. Thank God. Bleach, which you need to cover up a murder. Now I'm just trying things. Now I'm just trying to find evidence to pin on him. Kit Kat Moss, exactly. Voice Heidi thingy. Thank you so much for the bit. Chevalier Marshall, thank you for the 21 months. I appreciate that so much. Oh, you can go in between them. Hannah Gascars, thank you for the 10 months. I appreciate that. Which is Shay, Billery, and Bachel hiding in <laughs> Not this. Thank you so much <laughs> for the bits as well. All right, well, I've seen and done it all. I've, I've, uh, I think I'm done here. I need to call the records place. When did Nancy Drew start putting, um, fucking, what's it called? What's that thing called? Oh, a checklist. Okay, I took a picture of these. I'm going to call the St. Louis Police Department, maybe. 314-555. Okay. I didn't even push all the numbers. Wait. Oh, do I not have to dial 314? We're sorry. Your call. I don't think I have to dial 314 because I'm not dialing out, right? Hmm. Or maybe I have to dial one first. I don't know how to use phones. Who the fuck knows how to use phones? I literally look up a place on Google Maps. Oh, my phone's ringing? Oh! Did I call the theater? That phone was ringing. Oh, I called the theater number. <laughs> I called myself. That is so me. That's just so me. I look up all the places on Google Maps and there's a button that says call them. <laughs> Nancy's the kidnapper. Nancy's the kidnapper. She called herself and she's like, she went into a fugue state, did the kidnapping because she's so obsessed with solving mysteries. Oh, because I hate Ned. Thank you for the biz kit, Cat Moss. I sometimes you just got to call yourself. You just got to check in. You just got to check in with yourself. I just don't think I'm supposed to call that. Let's call um, City Garbage. See if they found any bodies.
Yeah, we didn't call Ned back in the last game. It was perfect. Thank you so much, Dance to Davide, for the bits. I appreciate that. I just want to make sure nobody... Sometimes, maybe she fell out of a trash chute and she just wound up in the back of the compactor. I don't know. Why does no one answer their phones in St. Louis? Wow. Okay, I'm gonna call... I'm gonna call ABC Media Services. St. Louis, apparently nobody answers their phone there. Exactly. Thank you so much, Kit Kat Moss. Oh, wait, what's this? Oh, thank y'all for the posture checks. Booby, Ma <laughs> Booby Master and Legend of AJ. I needed these. Thank you so much. We're about to have a stretch session here in about eight minutes. And then we'll probably regroup. Okay, I'll call Bess. Oh my god. Where am I sleeping tonight? Do I have to sleep in the theater? I'm not sleeping in the theater. Hello? Hi, Bess. It's Nancy. Nancy! It's about time! How's St. Louis? Something terrible has happened. Maya went to Brady's dressing room to interview him. I guess he wasn't there. She screamed and now she's gone. I think she's been kidnapped. Oh my Nancy, god. Nancy, you're hysterical. Why would anyone want to kidnap Maya? <laughs> I received a <laughs> Why would anyone want to kidnap Somebody Maya? Wants desperately to stop this demolition and they're holding Maya Under as the a bargaining seat. tool. Oh, yeah. That's terrible. Have you called the police? I called, all right. Is but this the original best according to voice standard actor? procedure? They can't get involved until Maya has been missing for 24 hours. What could possibly be standard about a girl getting kidnapped? They're not convinced it's a kidnapping. Well, how did she disappear then? Poof? Alakazam? Sergeant Ramsey Who has says these it kinds of phone conversations? Or Maya might have just taken off or something. <laughs> what is this Sergeant phone conversation? Ramsey obviously doesn't know Wash U's most dedicated reporter. It's true. The only way she would have abandoned this story is if someone dragged her away from it. Do Maya's parents know? They always I wish I had that work ethic, year, work ethic. And besides, I've got to find Maya before this demolition. I doubt her parents could get back from the other side of the world before then anyway. What a mess. Yeah, it's been a while since I've been so personally attached to a case. Girl, you are personally I'll attached to every no case. More. I'll get a hold of George Too and, involved. and let them know what's going on. Poor Maya. I guess the only consolation is that she <gasps> put you on the rescue mission. She really just hung up on me. Phlebotanist, thank you for the bids. You have to dial nine and one. To the fax machine? I don't understand fax machines. Thank you so much, Phlebotanist. Emma K95, thank you so much for the two months. Uh, we're doing pretty good for a mystery Monday, I think. I mean, we definitely have a mystery and it's definitely Monday. But that's as far as we've gotten. Thank you so much. Nancy, what's the 411? The 411? Come on, Nancy. How does Nancy That's not know the, any words? You know, the 411, the deal, the lowdown. So the humans against the destruction of a... Oh. Yeah, where were you? I'm asking everyone, where were you when the kidnapping happened? I was outside, harnessing public outrage. Ask anyone. Tell me about so, this thing. So, humans against the destruction of illustrious theaters. Tell me about your little club. Tell me about it. This theater's a spotted owl. It's a humpback whale. It's endangered. Illustrious buildings testify to our finest human hours. They should be celebrated, not bulldozed to make way for cardboard megaplexes. Need I say more? What about a McDonald's, though? Neighborhood might need a McDonald's. <laughs> you know what they plan to build on this spot after the what theater about a Claire's? is gone? Oh, it's very hush hush. The name of the building firm is Wave of the Future, and the owner is some B. Thompson, descendant of J.J. Thompson, but he's never available for comment. Fishy, right? Ten bucks says B stands for baloney. 
That's a, that would be a cool name. Catch you later. On the flip side. <laughs> we have to talk about his pants at some point. When do we get to talk to him about his pants? Do I get to make popcorn and stuff for money? Humans against... So had it? Had it? Oh, like I've had it. All right. Let's go see if she's off the phone yet. That would be nice. Oh, what's this? Out of service. Okay. Aha! A stain on the wall. Someone's been slinging turds. Just as I suspected. The turd slinging maniac has struck again. Really? She's still on this call. Do you think if I put her phone in the turd sink, she'd Nancy have Drew, a moment? Simone Mueller, oh. don't worry. Vanishing Destiny is off. We've got bigger fish to fry. So you heard about She's off Maya? the phone, never mind. Of course. I mean, a kidnapping? Right out of my star's dressing room? The premiere is small potatoes. It's worth more to us canceled or at least postponed. When the news gets out, the whole nation will be watching. Oh, so she likes the publicity. I don't think we should publicity. get the press into this before the police have had a chance to investigate. <laughs> Where are you from? I have to say this. Why River does it make Heights? me click it? Why? <laughs> yes, precisely. <gasps> River Heights. She Listen, said, doll, sorry, I'm Bumpkin. from L.A. This ain't my first time at the rodeo. We'll find your friend, or Brady Armstrong will, and when he does, Every girl in America will wish she'd been kidnapped instead of Maya What's-Her-Name. First of all, let me tell you, everyone from L.A. also introduces themselves as, I'm from L.A. <laughs> everyone. I can't believe you. No girl wants to be kidnapped ever. That probably. That. Brady, uh, we should probably give her a reality I can't believe check. You. No girl wants to be kidnapped. Ever. I'm proposing a business alliance. You scratch my back, I'll scratch yours. We don't have to see eye to eye. This is, so, I don't think this is how people react in a kidnapping. Oh, this is, this is dramatic. I'd rather be crushed by an elevator. Honey, <laughs> you've got spunk. Ever consider <laughs> acting? This girl power thing is red hot right now. Of course, she said Spice Girl born in the name. game. Nancy Drew is so utterly forgettable. Yeah, I was thinking of a of a stage name. I was thinking maybe uh, Bridget Bardot. I was thinking um, Marilyn Monroe. I'm asking everyone, where were you when the kidnapping happened? Oh, please, Good Nancy. Stage I was on the phone doing business. But if I'm ever hard pressed for entertainment, I'm sure kidnapping would be a real hoot. She is a jokester. The building was probably locked. Joseph Here to says the building was probably locked when the kidnapping happened, and that the kidnapper had to be someone who was inside the theater. Care to comment? Why don't you tell that little gray troll that I think he did it, just to keep himself from dying of boredom <laughs> in this old dump? That's my comment. Why are they like this? This is the level I need. I need every single character at a level 10 in a Nancy Drew game at all times. Calling each other little trolls. Just fucking shots fired from everybody. I think your phone's about to ring. Love ya. <laughs> I'm gonna leave a single turd in this dressing room. Right on the floor for her to slip on. Mayonnaise, thank you for the bits. You want it to be her just so she goes to jail. I still think it's Joseph. She's too... She, as much as this person likes the publicity, I don't remember her name. I don't think it's her. All actors, please wear shoes on stage at all times. No shoes, no acting. Oh. Oh. We need to connect this to a thing. Because there's a... There's a what do you call that? A, a door. Uh, uh. All right. Don't get a hernia, Nancy. Um, There's a lot of cables here on the floor. Maybe I can... Oh, it's time for a break. 
perfect timing. Okay, we're gonna do a little bit of a stretch break. Okay, we're back and we're back backstage. We're all stretched and loosey goosey. Surely I can. Oh, <gasps> can I go up the ladder? I wanna. So I've never seen Phantom of the Opera. I just know the song. And I want. I'm thinking I'm gonna go like full Phantom of the Opera here in a minute, right? <gasps> the music just got a little spooky. And like. Swing from the. Did they swing from the rafters? I've. Like I said, I've never seen it. Here we go. This is the moment. I drop something on my head. <gasps> I just heard a, that was a clunk. I was kind of hoping a sandbag would fall on my head. Aha. Just as I suspected, tying things to other things, a tale as old as time. Am I pulling it back up now? Oh, you can pull up or down. No, that doesn't matter, does it? No, it's just the whole rope is highlighted. Did I unknot it? No, I nodded. Are you sure that's tied off tight? I think I'm going to get bamboozled here in a second. I think the crate's going to fall on me. <gasps> There's shit all over these stairs. Someone's definitely been turned in in the basement. <gasps> this is full on. I've never seen Phantom of the Opera, but this is it, right? Secrets among secrets. Oh, I know what this is. This is checkers. <laughs> That's this is checkers. Now. Oh, this is one of those clown games. You think they're all supposed to be one of the same thing? What do you think they should be? I would think crowns is the best one. They really said two frames per move. <laughs> they really said two frames. Two frames exactly on each spin of those. So we're going to have to look for the pattern. I feel like I saw tiles with a pattern on them in the um, upstairs, but maybe I didn't. Maybe that's unrelated. Is this one of those fortune tellies? All the music, all the drama, all the laughs witness the wondrous spectacle that has all of New York abuzz. Nancy Drew loves their automatons. Ladies and gentlemen, step right up. <laughs> they said, well, we can only record voice lines via <laughs> the answering machine. So we need to have an automaton who already sounds like they're in an answering machine. Am I supposed to match cards? Oh, okay. Find the ace of spades. Keep your eye on the card. That's like kind of not fair. Oh, it's fair. I won. <laughs> oh, never mind. It's fair. I won. Is this an acorn? Oh. Your audience will be dazzled. Be dazzling? Your audience will be dazzled. Flash paper. Slide the flash trigger ring through your middle finger. So it's like a f you it's like wafting a fart. I'm just lucky like that. I'm a pro gamer. Well, he did one card this way, and so I just assumed he switched hands. Like, it's just really sad that some of y'all... Sounds like some of y'all might be bad detectives. <laughs> I'm sorry. Throw the flash paper and watch it ignites. Your audience will be dazzled. 
Caution, you don't need to read the warnings. Your audience will be dazzled. Your audience will Shh. be dazzled. Nancy, we get it, we get it. She's talking over herself. It's called, an audience called talent. I'm the game boomer. I wrote the entire website, game boomer. Have y'all ever been to my personal homepage, web, I mean, game boomer? <laughs> No. No. Oh, there's the exit. Oh, that's the exit to the hallway. Have y'all ever been to my personal web homepage? Game Boomer. Should I do that? Should I do magic on someone? What's up? Can't talk long. Gotta check on my people. Some of the voice actors are louder than others. <laughs> What's your attachment to saving this theater? You seem so personally invested. He's rich Politics and bored. Politics is personal, but with this place, it's ultra personal. My grandma, Louisa Falcone, designed the molds for all the insane plaster work that you see in this lobby and in the auditorium. So just the plaster. See, there's the design. Those are clubs, aren't they? See behind him? Those are clubs. I don't know. Not the shirt is spray painted on. Oh, it's like when people paint optical illusion clothing on themselves. Optical illusions. Hold on. What was that notification? Okay, sorry. I was seeing if my FedEx got delivered. <laughs> if FedEx get delivered... Then we're not finding Maya. Then I'm done. <laughs> the detail is so intricate. Then I'm just not finding Maya. Kind of artistry in she new can wait. Nowadays. True, true. But there's more. I guess hey, the Nicole. architect owner guy, J.J. Thompson, ran out of cash before the building was done. He never paid my grandma dime one. And then he denied that she had ever done the work in the first place. Ain't that just like the ma'am. Why didn't he give her credit? Why didn't he Did give she her the kill him? Credit? Yeah, she was the artist type, not a deal maker. I guess she'd never signed any contractual stuff with JJ, and she didn't have the resources to sue him or any of that. So I guess she just had to let it go. Wait, wait, wait. She did the work and didn't get a contract first? What's in the package? A Tamagotchi. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder why Thompson would cheat her like that. Here's the kicker. I don't want to. I want to blame her. After JJ on this two-year project, she was broke, and then the Great Depression hit. She oh. could never afford to work as an artist again. The Great Depression. The Great. I remember the Great Recession. Why did she do it instead? Was she bitter? Was she bitter about it? Louisa, Mother Serenity, Falcone. Ah, she just kept on trucking in true Falcone style. Died at 97 without a bitter bone in her body. I think she had a happy life, but this theater holds the last artwork she ever did. Don't you see, Nancy? Saving this place is not just for history. It's for justice. There's usually like a historical, like a lot of the buildings in D.C., you can't even do work on them until you've consulted like historical places. Can't you get some justice now? Can't you get some justice you now? Kill My family has been <laughs> trying for years, but... There doesn't seem to be anything on record that links her to this place. Well, then why do Nancy, you think she you did it? Favor? You want me to find maybe there's something buried. I think I know what you're going to ask. While you're searching, could you just keep your eye out? Um, Maya's my first priority. Maya's my first priority, as you can imagine. But if there's any way I can help set the record straight on this beautiful artwork, I will. You're cooler than I thought, Nancy. We're not giving him a compliment. I try to play it down. This plaster work? Like the molding? That's what she did? Okay. <laughs> no! Oh, we should probably go tell Joseph we found a thing. Like this plaster? That's not plaster. So where... I don't understand what she did, because this is all marble. 
That's marble. That's marble. Oh my god. The way that you have to make seven turns to turn around in this. Oh, that was a thing. Not curls font. I gotta go. Don't touch that projector, dear. It's a temperamental old beast. How do I get him out of the room? Watch out there, Nancy. That projector's crumbling like a prehistoric cookie. I'm sorry. They He got into the... <laughs> this voice actor got into the booth and they said, Can you do like a really bad Bill Clinton impression? Do you think you could give us a little bit more... A little more, a little bit more Bill Clinton. What is this? Kick at Moss. Oh, yeah. FedEx, definitely. <laughs> oh, yeah. You know my save game just got to be high. Hey there, Nancy. Thank you for the bits. Um, tell me about your life. So where will you go after the demolition? Are you planning to retire? Greasewood, Arizona. My brother Jake is there. It's a tiny town with no movie theater, so we're going to put one on the map. I got some money saved. You're gonna open a theater? Tell me about that old key making machine in the lobby. Has it been out of order? Oh, I long? need a key. It's been broken for a spell. The kids lost interest in it when video games came along. Not but video I bet it games. It would be hard to fix. I'd love for you to see how it works. And then you can make yourself a little souvenir from the Royal Palladium. Or send a key to your sweetheart. Well, that's not Ned. I'll send it to Frank. Uh, the history is rich. Well, I guess we're Who gonna have to do all these. Who is this J.J. Thompson character anyway? Old J.J. Owner. Visionary. Wheeler dealer. J.J. loved a magic show. He had this place built with those kind of big spectacle shows in mind. J.J. also happened to love the sight of his own mug in the mirror. You can tell by the way he, uh, ornamented the auditorium with his own head. I didn't notice. I didn't see his head anywhere. The history is so rich. The history of this theater is so rich. Oh, that's a I'm good point. I'm surprised the city of St. Louis isn't more interested in preserving it. Well, they are interested. The Historical Society has been working like the Dickens to get this place declared a landmark. But someone downtown has been stalling. They're awfully close. Close to what? Gotta go now. Bye. Can you go fix the key machine? What is he even doing back there? Also, he has a phone right beside hey him. Hey there, Nancy. Oh, sorry. Gotta go now. Don't let the turkeys get you down. <sighs> Imagine how tired I am. <laughs> He's got the phone right there. That's clearly the one he used to do the ransom. Well, I guess if... Well, I don't know where Maya is, though. No, he would have had to steal her first. Kidnap? That's what it's called when you take a person. I'm going to fix the key machine myself. Oh, I guess maybe I'm not. So I have to have the key machine. Now, what I don't understand... Which side am I on? Okay. Why can't I put this here? Wait a second. She's looking at... Why would she look at this one? Should I poke it? I, I don't even know what that is that I'm holding. This one's missing. Maybe, this one's missing. I don't missing. think that's what that is after all. <laughs> I thought that's what... Now, why would I look at this one, though? Why would I want to look at this? That's like a throwing star. I think that one might be missing. Oh, I need something sticky. What about bubble gum? Is this sticky? I don't really know what this is. I 
I think I need bubbles gum. Oh my God, I have an idea. I have an idea. Oh, where did he go? Okay, we're snooping now. Oh, a good tape dispenser. I love a nice heavy tape dispenser filled with sand. They fill them with like sand, I think. Scotch, this is Scotch one. Can any of y'all ever take my tape dispenser? Y'all don't even want to know what I'm going to do. Had it. That is so small. The, test, the text is so small. Oh, we could call them. Let's call them. Not hadit.org. Can anyone go there and tell me if that's a thing? Does it go to the Nancy Drew website? 555. Four, six, seven, one. They need to add, they need to use a better font. The fist is holding a theater mask. Yeah, <laughs> it is. It doesn't exist. That's going to be my new web page. You are. <laughs> you would think they would fucking register it, though. Maybe they used to have it. This is what, like 20 years old? Oh, I love highlighters, too. I would like to steal the highlighter. We really can't snoop at anything else. Can I take some candy? I don't understand why it's tempting me with all this stale popcorn if I can't even eat it. There's got to be gum on the back of a seat. My first instinct is to find gum on the back of the seat. Like, I would like to walk down one of these aisles. Oh, there was, like, gum and trash over here. I just really don't appreciate how this game will not let me... I just, I just have never, oh, I didn't go in that box. I've, you, you just can't fully explore. My biggest regret in life is not being able to fully explore in a Nancy Drew game. Oh, I can't even look down here. The other side I could look down on, though. Oh. Good luck finding what? And then chew the... Find the gum on the bottom of a seat, then chew the gum, spit out the gum, spit the gum directly into Brady's mouth, have him chew the gum for a while, and then he spits it into Camouflage's mouth. He chews it for a while. They have to get it really moist because they're going to spit it into Joseph's mouth because he doesn't have any saliva because he's dead. Then he'll chew the gum for a little bit. Spit it into Nancy's hand, and then she'll glue that on. Why would the fuck would it want me to look down here at this cracked ass floor that someone didn't even clean up after? The perfect heist. The perfect heist. Well, we're not... Ryan, thank you for the bits. We're not spitting in other people's mouths. We're spitting gum in their mouths. Big difference. Huge. Huge. Thank you so much for the bits. Kit Kat Moss. Hadit.org is an actual website. What it is? What's on it? Thank you for the bits. Big Island Mike, great to see you. Happy Mystery Monday. Hope you're doing well. Glad I'm not playing your game anymore. <laughs> Glad that that game's over. On your stage name? I'm thinking Samantha Quick. You love it, right? I think your phone's about to ring. Ciao. The voice lines, even Nancy's voice lines sound like they're coming from like different, different places. I have some ideas. I'm just, I want to go talk to Brady real quick. God. Oh, there you need me help. <laughs> Fucking creepy. Who's this Who's Simone? This Simone, and how do you know her? Called a Simone publicist. Mueller, CEO of my Agent. life. 
Uh, I mean, my agent. Focus on being wholesomely smoldering, she says, and leave the rest to me. So I do. She's been setting up Premier HQ in the women's dressing room. Haven't you heard her snarling at people on the phone? Oh, let's get his I'm alibi. I'm asking everyone, where were you when the kidnapping happened? Me? Samantha, quick. You think I kidnapped Maya and then breezed in here just four minutes later? Where would I hide her? In my back pocket? Just answer the question, Prince Charms. Just answer the question, Prince Charmstrong. Charmstrong? Imagine having to read these lines. Imagine having to read these lines and do it seriously. I mean, I guess you get paid, so that I would say anything to get paid. You know you love it. Just keep talking. I, well, I was <laughs> late getting back from a haircut. I, uh, this is hard now for me. Now that's a lie. I think my hairline might be receding. Join the club, It's sis. miserable. Simone's gonna go through the roof. First of all, join the club. There ain't no shame in that. People lose their hair, that's fine. Second of all, you asked for that haircut on top of your head? You asked for your hair to look like that? He wanted that, chat. This person reminds you of Katya? I said Trinity the Tuck at the beginning of the stream. Why are you so interested in helping me? Well, Maya was kidnapped from my dressing room after all. I just can't help thinking maybe they meant to kidnap me. Okay, that's a good Talk point. Talk to you later, Brady. Don't be a stranger. Because who the hell would want to kidnap Maya? Because that's not going to make a buzz. That's a good point. I think they probably meant to kidnap Brady. Well, Brady, feel free to, can, to get kidnapped. <laughs> Brady, feel free to allow yourself to get kidnapped. I'm going to go back through the turd tunnel. He got it at a... I don't even remember the name of that place. I mean, I'm in no position to make fun of anyone's hair. <laughs> you know what? That's a good point. I'm in no position to make fun of anyone's hair, so. Well, I just popped out of your wardrobe again. Are you sure they're, like, what would I want to do with this sink, though? It keeps letting me zoom in on this Turd. The game really wants me to just look at this dirty. S Wait a second. I have an idea. Let's just start throwing shit in it. Oh, that's a photograph, right? Don't you develop photographs in water? No. Quarters. The Trevi Fountain. You make a wish. I don't even know what that is that I'm holding. All right, nothing worked with the turd sink, so we just dunked our entire inventory in turd water for nothing. Just another day playing a Nancy Drew game. Just another day on the job. Hold on, I'm just being thorough. Y'all know me. I wonder if there are more ropes I can pull. Can you, hey, hey, can you die in this game? Bristeps, thank you for the bits, by the way. I don't remember if I thanked you. You can die in this game. Good to know, chat. Good to know. If you don't tie the rope off three times the box. Oh, did I already miss it? Are there other ways I can die? I'm going to make some phone calls. Well, wait, where did what's his name go? I'm going to call. Let's call his organization. He's still gone. Oh, that cutout always scares me. Is there anything over? There's nothing over there I can look at. Nothing's amiss in here so far. No one took my tape dispenser. All right, that was 555.
Not if you die in this game, you die in real life. <laughs> it, you know what? This game sure likes giving me phone numbers that don't do nothing. This game sure likes giving me phone numbers that lead nowhere. You are kidding me, right? No one answers? Why do they keep giving me phone numbers? Not you can drown in the turd sink. I didn't need to put a one in front of that one. That one said... Wait, for the area code, I don't have to dial out with, right? I haven't had to... So with the 314 numbers... <gasps> no, because... I told my, do I have to actually call Ned? With the 314 numbers, I haven't been typing 314 and I and it's been working. Right? I dialed I dialed one to dial the media services and they didn't answer. I don't know though, because now you're making me question it. Maybe that's a good point. Y'all are making me call Ned. I did need the one last time I called out. Hello? Ned, it's me. Nancy. Beth called and told me what happened with Maya. I've been worried sick. Did she tell you what the police said? About the 24-hour delay? Yeah, she told me. But I have faith in you, Nancy. You've solved plenty of cases before. Her dad's a lawyer. Why isn't her dad so calling the police? Who are your suspects? It seems there were only four people in the building at the time of the kidnapping, besides Maya and myself. Brady Armstrong, Simone Mueller, his agent. Is there any way to skip this? Nicholas Falcone, a political activist. And the caretaker, Joseph Hughes. Any hunches? Not yet. I've got a lot of work to do. Call me anytime. I'll try to stay close to the phone. There's this cool machine in the lobby there we that go. makes souvenir keys. You can make a key in any shape and call it the key to your heart. I wanted to make one for you. Not that this is any time to think of souvenirs. And maybe after you solve the case, detective. Well, besides the fact that I don't have time for distractions, the machine is out of order. Phew, that's a relief. What's that supposed to mean? Nancy Drew, you know the key to your heart would be much too big to carry around on my keychain. I'd probably throw my back out. <laughs> Good point, Mr. Nickerson. I'm gonna anyway, throw up. I'm gonna counts. ralph all over this fucking theater. Then you're really gonna have to tear it down. Once I projectile vomit all over these walls. Um... By the time I finally got to talk to Simone Mueller, she had heard all about the kidnapping <laughs> See? and canceled the premiere. This is why I hate calling him. Hmm. Sounds like bad news travels fast around old theaters. That's just the thing. Simone didn't seem to think Maya's kidnapping was bad news at all. <laughs> she kept calling it a great uh, opportunity. Maybe she likes the she mystery kept too. What fabulous publicity it's going to be for Brady. Sounds like she knows how to turn a profit oh, in any see, situation. See, I already knew the these things. Is, is she just responding Here, to that. the situation? Or did she have a hand in creating it in the first place? <laughs> Miss no the net that wanted know, to Nancy break Drew. up with her? Sounds to me like <laughs> your detective mind is in high gear. I'm trying to decide what to do next. Any thoughts? Blueprints would definitely help your search. Nicholas must know the county administrator's offices inside and out. Maybe you can get the phone number from him. He's missing. Everyone's missing. I'm trying to decide what to do Try next. Try again, Ned. Any thoughts? Blueprints would ah! definitely help your search. Nicholas must know the county administrator's office. Bye, Ned. And out. Maybe you can get the phone number from him. Bye, Ned. Be careful. Bye, Ned. Didn't I get the phone number? Bye, Ned. Didn't they give me the phone number for this? Yeah, I would like a hint. No back seating is turned off momentarily, but I would like the the teentiest of a hint. I didn't get the right phone number. I thought he gave me a different one. He wait, if he's out here, I'll talk to him. He's dead. This that man is dead. Where'd that dead man go? There are two different pamphlets from Nicholas's area. Okay, that's a great hint. All right, it's turned back on. Uh, 
Oh, I didn't know I could click this one. Oh my County God. Administration, 314-555-3309. Five, three, three, zero, nine. Got it, thank y'all. So it's back on. Not Ned, more like next. I wish. I just really ship. I mean, I'm not into shipping. I also don't, I don't like the ocean. But I like Nancy. I think Nancy and Frank need to be together. And Ned and Joe can get together. I think that's fine. Where am I? Oh, yeah. M Nancy just spinning in the lobby. Spiraling. I can call some of the other numbers, but do I have to? That's the question. Oh, this was a 314 number. I might need to do a one before this one. Records, man. Oh no, we got it. Hi. I'm looking for the blueprints for the Royal Palladium Theater. Do you have them on file? Are you a county employee? No, just a citizen on a mission. Okay. Well, we do keep blueprints on file. Let's see. The computer says there are two sets for the Palladium, 1923 and 1956. Do you have a preference? 1923, please. The originals. Would you like to hold while I retrieve them? Why is sure, this thanks. Barbara Robertson? This is it's Barbara Robertson. This is what is this? The accents in this game are wild. They really said, they really said, we're not sure. I don't think the developers know where St. Louis is. <laughs> You've got yeah, everything yes, from strong southern it's very strange, to Minnesota. Gone. gone. You mean someone checked them out? Oh. We don't allow people to check them out. You can bring the blueprints to our reading room and study them there, but they're not supposed to leave the building. Charles. I can't imagine where they could be. Hold on, let me see if Charles knows. Charles, Charles. Oh, that's true. It's St. Louis and what? Uh, yeah. Illinois? Strange. Or Charles says Missouri and Illinois. <laughs> looking at them a few days ago. What did he look like? Hold on. Good God. It's Joseph, right? He was really old, and he looked like a, a corpse. He sounded like Bill Clinton. Hello. Charles said the guy had a hat on. He never really got a look at the guy. Was he young or old? Hey, Charles, young or old? Energetic is all Charles remembers. Hmm. Okay. Well, my name is Nancy Drew. I'm working on some Can things we fire over here Charles? at the Royal Palladium. Could you do a search for the blueprints? Sure thing. I'll put in a find request. Call back in five to seven business days. Next week? Oh, I'm afraid I don't have that kind of time. Is there any way to expedite the search? I'm afraid not. The guy who does our misplaced material searches just returned from a month of paternity leave. Okay, that's wow. fair. I see. This is urgent? Yes, it's urgent, all right. But I'll hey. figure something out. Thanks, Madeline. Good I luck. haven't... Bye. I haven't seen Maya since high school, so let's not go with urgent, urgent. Let's just say, like... It's, like, something we should do. <laughs> eh. Let's not get carried away, Nancy. Urgent. Let's not get carried away there. Mid-level urgency. That's what I would say, too. Something we could do. Voodoo Sparkle Juju. Thank you for the three months. It's Mystery Monday. Don't worry. We're, uh, we're, um, we are waist deep in this turd of a mystery. <laughs> Good to see you. Kit Kat Moss. Charles really let us down. Thank you for the bits. Hey there, Nancy. Oh. Gotta go now. At a girl. Not at a girl. Can people just never say that phrase again? Unless you're talking to like a dog, maybe. Can we just never say the phrase at a girl ever again, maybe? Do y'all think that's do y'all think that what's a good idea? Yo, why doesn't why didn't y'all tell me this game doesn't have a checklist? I need something sticky. Okay, chat. Where, if I were looking for something sticky, wait, 
I have to read some of the movie posters? Okay, that's a good clue. Pottery? The moose next door. These ones are the maybe the ones on the side, right? The ones in the hallway. A little bit of a hint where she could find something sticky. I don't want you to... Oh, the tape. It's the way that I just thought I should find bubble gum. Oh, wait a second. <laughs> I haven't seen that before. Why is there a... I didn't even know those existed anymore. Okay, don't tell me. Chat, I'm not looking at the chat, so don't be telling me anything. Why won't it let... Yeah, tape is sticky. Yeah, people put gum on the bottoms of seats. That's what I was looking for. But I didn't find any seats that it let me... Look at the bottom of. Alright, we'll go try that. Oh my god. <laughs> I just want to... Can I just like... Roll down the... Hold on. I can't do anything. Oh. Can I go down an aisle? No. I would think it would be where these ones were. Yeah, I told y'all to give me the hint, and then y'all gave me a hint. And so I said no more. <laughs> oh! Set the old equipment on fire. Well, that would be fun. There it is. The way it takes so long for me to turn around in this game. All right. You'd think the game would let me, like, crawl on the floor or something. I keep just missing it. Is it in this part of the auditorium? Like, it's in, um... Oh. Mm, popcorn. Is she going to eat the stale popcorn? So there must be other things I can find too then. Because this seat is... So that seat I can look under. So there must be other seats I'm able to look under. Because I can't click anything here. Alright, well I'll just keep looking for trash. All right, let me go up this way. Is popcorn sticky? <laughs> Not butt pop. It's in a random seat in front. All right, uh, just so y'all know, uh, back seating is turned back on. I'm not looking at the chat either, because I know that y'all can't keep your mouths shut. Because <laughs> I know y'all can't keep your mouths shut. You know what? This is painful. That's literally my least favorite thing to read when I'm playing a video game. Okay.
Not me saying I'm not reading the chat. And the, Oh my god. I want to turn to the middle, but it will not let me turn to the middle. Y'all know what happens when I get frustrated. Y'all remember bug snacks? Huh? Y'all want me to bug snacks this Let's Play? <laughs> there we go! <laughs> Y'all want me to bug snacks this Let's Play series? Y'all better be careful. Here we go. Nancy, pick up the fucking... For Christ's sake. She used the magic out of all the things. The magic wand is the thing that we've decided to use. Hey, I was right about getting the gum, though. I just feel like it's very on brand for Nancy Drew to, uh... To, uh, need gum if... When, literally, there's tape. somewhere, Something to get sticky. Oh, thank... Oh, I appreciate that, Phlebotanist. Thank you for the bits. I don't ever want my gameplay to be painful to watch. Well, I know that it probably is a lot of the time, though. <laughs> this one's missing. You shut your mouth, Nancy Drew. Oh my this god. This one's missing. This one's missing. Thank you for the bits, full botanist. Dinsla, thank you for the bits as well. Ryan, thank you for the bits as well. We got there. We have the gum. Second chance alert? What, can I jump off? Can I jump off the side on fucking purpose? Because it won't be an accidental second chance. <laughs> I can tell you right now, it won't be an accident. Well, Nancy will be trying to- I told y'all we need to chew the gum. Wait, do, do we need to chew the gum? Should I chew the gum? <gasps> I know what to do. Oh my fucking god, I know what to do. We have to wet the gum, don't we? I don't think you can jump off the balcony. It doesn't seem like you can. <gasps> I can't quite reach. Oh, I didn't know this was a thing. I thought I already had the thing. This is disgusting! Who throws their popcorn over the side? Oh, I didn't know you could look down there. All right, it all makes this sense one's now. Missing. Shh, shh, this one's missing. Shh, shh. This one's missing. This one's missing. Ah! <laughs> this one's missing. This one's missing. <laughs> this one's missing. <laughs> I found it though. This one's missing. I found it though. I found it though. I re I really found it though. Did I miss a second chance? I found it though. This one's missing. No, but it's not missing. I found it though. This one's missing. This one's missing. You can die by falling off the balcony? If I just hold it right here. How long did she have to stay like this? I can't just fall off the balcony. You want me to load the... I don't even remember where last time I saved it. 
If you reached with, the, oh, if you reach without the gum, if you reach with just the, I don't, I don't have that save file anymore. That's gone. That's old news. That's old news, gang. Now, if I were, I, I have an idea though. And I like, is the small, no, the small gear doesn't work either. Nothing works in the spot. Yeah, chat, we can't do it anymore. We're, we can't do it anymore. I'm just too... I'm too good at video games. I have an idea, though. This is not the idea. I just want to see if I can look off this side, too. No. Back away. Well, well... Will, will, will. <laughs> Thank you for the two years, 24 months. Holy cow, I appreciate that so much. Keep those good good goods going in the chat. Great to see you. Not start the game over. Now I I have an idea. Where's the turd sink? Ah! I was gonna wet the gum. <laughs> I was going to wet the gum so that it would get sticky again. I saved before I got the thing, but the gum was already on the wand. So I can't fall in unless the gum's not on the wand. The gum has to not be on the wand. I don't know where I last saved, okay? But I'm not, I'm not doing it. Yeah, wet it and then chew it. Do you want me to try? I don't know where I last load here. We'll do this. I'll save this is here. See, I already had it sticky. You can't do it unless you're not unless it's not sticky, is what the, someone in the chat said. I can't I, I can't disconnect the gum. No. <laughs> Try pressing second chin. That's not going to do anything. The gum is still on the end of the wand. Oh, click it without the wand. Do you want me to just try to grab? Oh, it's gone. Okay. God. So far, this has just been... <laughs> Go back. Go die. Do this. Do I that. I can't quite reach. <laughs> And that's what you wanted? And that's what you wanted, chat? Does that satiate your need for death and destruction? <laughs> you want me to die so bad. Does that satiate your desire for death and destruction, chat? Oh, suddenly I have it. <laughs> Did that get you off, chat? Was that everything you wanted? Yeah, we didn't even get a thud. Where's the thud? Where's the death thud? Uh-oh. Oh, phlebotanist. Not that one's missing. Thank you for the bits. Dinsla, thank you for the bits, too. Uh, Danielle K30, thank you for the bits. Oh, are we doing a midstream hop? Hop train. Ryan. KK Wiz. Beach Witch. Dinsla. Brit Steps, Baby Olives, Kit Kat Moss, Densla again, what your shade? Thank y'all so much. Oh my gosh. I appreciate that. That was just for y'all chat. Now, now, here's my question. I do have a single question to ask. Yeah. Why the fucking hell can I not stick this goddamn thing on the thing if Nancy Drew won't shut the fuck up about it? That is my one question. <laughs> Thank you for the posture check, Gus. Oh, there's a metal piece that goes in the middle. <sighs> is this not metal? I have an idea. This is about to turn into a murder mystery. And I'm the murderer. I have an idea. 
Oh, wait, wait. Y'all tell me to read the things in the lobby. No, 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 no. This is about to be a murder mystery, but it won't be a mystery. Because I will have... Nancy will have done it. <laughs> Harry Houdini. Harry is... So the one thing that I need to do right now, though, is that thing in the basement. And so I need to find out, like, um... Oh, that's Harry Houdini. Thought he had a beard. So what I need to be looking for is... Shelby. Real, live, and... Oh, that makes me sad. That's sad. The Royal Palladium. A cornucopia of humorous, magical acts. The Houdini transformation. Not Harry who daddy. How do you delete your own Twitch chat? Permanently. <laughs> Cast spell on Palladium. You missed a Cracker Jack show. <gasps> Slappy yelled to the woman in the floral dress. Someone ought to teach you some manners. So there's drama at the gig. It was not who's Dini's voice. <gasps> the way that I read this all out of order. Imagine your name being Slappy. No. Oh. That one looks like Conan O'Brien. Cat Sage! Sammy Main! Tom Nook took my money! Phlebotanist! Magalane! Brit Steps! Thank y'all so much for those bits. I appreciate that. Thank you, thank you. That's just, oh my god, now y'all can say that I died for you. This is like that song. Oh, Shelby, it was written. <laughs> Not pull over in the parking garage. <laughs> no, I was reading. I was reading a thing in the game and it said Shelby. I feel like I've done nothing during this past hour and we're about to hit a stretch break. Can y'all, okay. Okay. Back seating is officially like what am I missing? I feel like I'm feeling so dumb in this game. Why do I feel so dumb? There has to be something I'm missing. And I don't know if I'm not clicking everywhere because the camera controls are ass. Like there are certain things I want to look at, but I can't. I think I did everything in the basement. So the the thing I'm so I'm thinking of. So I am right in thinking. Explored the basement. I did explore it, but did I not do it all the way? I don't know. Let's go back down. I now gotta find that fucking. <gasps> I don't remember where the goddamn box was now. Hold on. See, like, I, I just want her to look down. I just want her to look downwards. Do you know what I mean? Because it's right here. There it is. There's nothing that tells you which symbols to use. You just have to guess. You're fucking kidding me. There's nothing, I just have to guess these symbols. Oh, so, but it is the clubs. That's what I would have thought it would be the clubs. 
Yeah, I blame the missing checklist too, quite frankly. I think they should be clubs. It's what the ro- There was a robot? The nipple robot from the last game? Oh, Emma, I don't know if I've called everyone from the phone. <laughs> Maybe I should. The car dealer? Oh. An ace. Of spades? Is that a furnace? What if I just... Set the place on fire. Find the ace of spades. Keep your eye on the card. That's a robot. The ace of spades. How come I get it every time? You beat the your audience Don't will be dazzled. Your winning. <laughs> so spades. I, don't, I gotta tell you, I don't remember Blackmore Manor. <laughs> At fucking all, though. I'm sorry, but that was convoluted. Is this a fucking slide puzzle? Oh no, it's a regular puzzle. <laughs> I was about to say, and y'all made me play this game fucking why with the slide puzzle? I just almost had an attack. I just had almost one of my famous attacks. <laughs> Regular puzzle, but just as bad. I'm trying to find out where her face would be, but I don't see where her face would be. Now, did the pieces turn? The pieces don't seem to turn. Correct me if I'm wrong, the pieces ain't turning. But it seems like they would need to. They do turn? What button do I hit to make them turn? Because I'm pushing the right mouse button. Oh, Son of A. <sighs> Christy, thank you for the bits. I appreciate that. Puzzles, yes. Uh, Aerobe, Erob96, thank you for the first time sub. Thank you, thank you. Welcome. Dance to Davi Day. Oh my gosh, the wiki. I can't wait to see it. Thank you, thank you. Simply Sarah! Houdini's... Wait, is that true? That seems like that would be the plot. Thank you so much, Sarah. I appreciate that. She's just got a really chiseled jaw. All right. I can work with this. I can work with this because that's hair. Um, I'm sorry, but it sucks ass. Oh no, that was already right. But there's a little something here that is really sucking ass, and that is where you click on these tiles to make them turn. It's just not the move. That's not hair. I 
I don't think those two fit together. <laughs> I'm going to go with it. for. I know that's not really the chin. Y'all can, can calm down. Yeah, this is an ass of a puzzle, huh? Just an ass of a puzzle, huh? And, oh, the icing on this fucking cake. Look at their zodiac symbols, huh? They really said, let's piss them off. They made this puzzle 20 years ago just to piss me off. <laughs> I definitely don't go there. Just to piss me off. I just, I don't think that's how the hair works, though. So something up here. Maybe this. This kind of looks like... That's part of her head. That's for sure part of her head. Okay. This looks like it goes there, but in a different way. Nope. <laughs> I mean, it's orange. Her hair's orange. Oh, I bet this goes there, actually. Nope, that was right. Okay, so I'm getting the ha I got part of her hair. I don't think that goes there. Oh, I bet this goes like here. It's a beard. Oh my god! That doesn't go there. That just go there. It's a beard. I get it now. It makes sense. Perfect. I hate puzzles. I, these kinds of puzzles, I fucking hate. And I'll be the first to tell you over and over and over again, I hate these kinds of puzzles. You'll hear it because I'll, I'll say it. When you know, it's because I'll say it. Oh, that does go there. That's good. Hmm. Oh, I bet this goes here. Listen, do you ever think I have prom doing puzzles because everyone's yelling at me 24 7 <laughs> Have you ever thought that maybe I'm not the problem? <laughs> I just don't think that goes there. <laughs> I don't know who's yelling. Probably me. Oh, these ones don't go here because that's not how hair works. I think that goes. Oh, that definitely doesn't go there. I wish it, if this would let me put the pieces like off to the side or something, that would be grand. Oh, whoa, 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 wait. I have an idea. She's just, she's got too much hair. Why has anyone stopped her from having this much hair? You know what I mean? At what point does it become her fault for having too much hair? At what point in the puzzle is this her fault for having all the hair? I mean, that doesn't go there. I, we need to stop pretending that that goes there. <laughs> I need to find her fucking chin. Where is this woman's face? This is her face. No, that's the one I had there before. I think I just made it worse. That could be her face. Ah, uh, no. Oh, that is her face. That's her neck. We got there in the end. All that really matters is you get there in the end. Oh, man. You think they could have added some fucking music to this? Do you know how fucking awkward this is? <laughs> 
God, is this the fucking most fucking awkward thing in the whole fucking world? There we go. I mean, add some music to your games. Oh, this looks like Florence and the Machine. I don't know if people aren't here to watch me yell at puzzles. Where are they? What? What are they here for? What are you here for? This definitely goes. I feel like we've had this one before. I think that goes there. That crab does not go there. These are like edge kind of pieces. Let's get her hair in order. Her hair needs to get sorted. I don't think that's right. Maybe here. That's not right either. Oh, I bet that goes there. Perfect. Okay, so she's wearing this gown that she thinks is cute. Oh, she thinks the gown is cute. So the real problem is she thinks that this is cute. I don't think this goes here. That definitely goes there. But I don't think this goes here. I think that goes there. Okay, I'm seeing the pattern now. The problem is, she thinks that this is a cute outfit. That's the real puzzle. I think I just fucked something up, because that goes there, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, 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 won't worry, we fixed it. Oops. Oh, that doesn't go there in the first place, so that's fine. Where's the front of her outfit? There we go. Now, that's a corner piece. Oh my god, we're almost there, chat. I know, very Art Nouveau. Very Art Nouveau. I took art history. All right, I understand. Ah! It looks like the gears are missing. Not a puzzle within a puzzle. Oh, that goes there. Then why was she so fucking impressed about the other thing? About it going in the right spot up there. Dear Mr. How Denny, congratulations on your latest unbelievable feat. Never have I seen the crowd at the Royal Palladium so enthralled by performers. Stupendous. Watery grave. Didn't think you'd do it. Really thought you would die. You're a flop. Something about money. My cash flow is tight. I do not have 50,000... <gasps> My bank account is still recovering from the billing expense. I'm sure you understand. So he didn't even pay Haldini of a golden opportunity. In lieu of cash, I'm prepared to offer you a reward. I would like to make you my business partner by transferring 50% ownership of the theater to your name. So he gave 50% of the theater. So they can't even... Wait a second. They can't even knock it down because Haldini owns the other half of it. Wait, has anyone seen him? Is Houdini okay? I haven't seen him. <laughs> oh, baby olives. Thank you for the bits and the offer to sing. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Looking forward to mutually rewarding relationship. 
So he did it. He signed the deed. Wait a second. Has anyone heard from Houdini? <laughs> oh, I just heard. How did he die? Did he die doing a magic thing? Oh, thank you for the posture check, Monica. I think that is a grand idea. You think she would want to take this with her, but Nancy says, no, we'll leave the important documents in the dungeon where someone can steal them. But I have this key now, and I guess the... Please let me leave. Please let me leave. Please let me leave. He got punched in the stomach too much? <gasps> what happened? She literally does. She took everything else, but she left the important contract. It's very interesting. Uh, Shelby, thank you for the 33 months. I appreciate that. It's 33. Keep those skus 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 going in the chat. I appreciate that. Oh my gosh, that's almost as old as I am. In years, though, but not months. Even though I look. People have said I look 34 months old. <laughs> People have said I look 34 it's months old. It's locked. This whole, this whole theater, I'm, I'm seeing why they want to tear it down. <laughs> I'm seeing why they want to tear it down. 34 months old. People have said. Listen, people have said. You can get appendicitis from being punched in the stomach? <gasps> How dare you? My stretchy skin is a sign of hydration. And I'm sorry that all of your skin is so tight. Because y'all are all corpses thank you for the bits <laughs> thank you for the bits kick at moss ah! i'm sorry that everyone in my chat who's arthur conan doyle did he write harry potter how goes the search i haven't found anything that mentions your grandmother but I did find something very interesting <laughs> about the ownership of the theater. Well, don't just stand there. Start breaking it down. <laughs> Start breaking what? Oh. Did you ever hear about a challenge that J.J. Thompson issued to Harry Houdini back in 1925? Yeah, and? No, not a chat. That wasn't a chat compliment. That was just a T. Um, let's just say... <gasps> Let's just say that J.J. So Thompson tight. found himself in a tight spot. What does so this have to do tight. with the ownership of the theater? From what I can tell you, don't tell any other flops. Maybe Houdini wanted to teach J.J. a lesson for promising things he couldn't deliver. In any case, Harry Houdini uh -oh. was 50% owner of this place. Ha! Serves that swindler J.J. right. Nancy, do you realize what this means? I know what it means. I'm working on a couple of theories. You have if to Thompson didn't explain it to me. The whole place, then whoever inherited it from Thompson doesn't legally own the whole I place either. I already put that together. Um, which means they don't have the authority to knock down the building. Which means they don't have the authority to knock this building down. We've got to find out what happened to his half of the ownership. You keep looking for Maya. I've got a laptop out in my van. I'll get online <laughs> and do some research. Check back soon. got a laptop in my van did he just tell us in a very excited voice i've got a laptop out in my van is this is it 1998 does he have a cell phone <sighs> it's the way it's just the way everyone talks to me in this game and i wish they would stop Catch talking to me fight the power stop it don't you don't need to say anything else ever again. He disappeared and he's gone. He's gone. He's in his van. 
man. God damn. It's Joseph. Wait till you see this. Come to the projection room. <gasps> Was that his ghost? <gasps> he passed. <laughs> I just heard he passed. Oh my God, Joseph, walk into the light. Walk into the dark tunnel, Joseph. I just heard. Everything really is hurting me right now. I don't think y'all understand. Where the fuck is he? Oh. <laughs> Nancy, take a look at this. No, I don't want to see it. Oh, it's the press pass. Oh my oh gosh. Oh my gosh. Why is press pass. Brady found it. No, he didn't. Found it? Where? <laughs> he didn't say. Give the police a call. And then you better go back to your hotel and get some rest. No, he fucking didn't. Yeah, I am tired. Gosh, I am exhausted. Go ahead and use the phone in the ticket booth. I'll be down in a minute. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. I why does why I can't click any direction I want to go, so I'm just gonna have to go whatever direction. If the Lord can lead you to it, he can lead you through it. Just what we have to remember. 911. Just give him a ring. <laughs> we did Snoop Camo Hello, stuff Brady already. Camo. Missing persons unit, please. Please hold missing persons. This is Ramsey. Hi, Sergeant Ramsey. This is Nancy Drew. I spoke to you earlier today about the disappearance of my friend, Maya Wen. Hello, Miss Drew. You're calling to tell me that you found your friend, I hope. I wish that were true, sir. Just her no, body. She's still missing. I'm calling to report that I have the evidence you asked for. What did you find? Someone else here at the theater found Maya's press pass. It was clipped to her shirt when she went into the dressing room. It must have been torn off when she was kidnapped. Or it fell off. I don't think or Brady did, gave him the evidence. Maya is very I'm going to go ask about him. Her work, Sergeant Ramsey. She never goes anywhere without Oh, no that worries, pass, Francie. And she would not willingly leave it behind. Is the past damaged in any way? No. There's a bullet in it. disturbed in the area where it was found? <laughs> There's I a bullet know. hole in it. I found it. Okay, well, thanks for checking in, Miss Drew. If Maya hasn't turned up by tomorrow, we'll definitely be out to investigate. Someone will take a look at the press pass then. But you said that if I found evidence, you'd investigate the theater today. I'm sorry, Miss Drew, but we can't go chasing after every kid who decides to take a leave of absence. The vast majority of missing juveniles disappear of their own accord, and they reappear when they're good and ready. You have to believe me. Maya would never play this kind of game. Nicholas Falcone said he thinks somebody is using her to make a statement. Nicholas Falcone? Is he involved in this? Are you involved with him? Haddad is demonstrating the against the demolition in front of the theater. Nicholas has set up shop in the lobby. Oh, I don't know I've why the queue is on him. zero. I'm not involved with him. Are you aware of the allegations against Mr. Falcone's character, Miss Drew? Allegations? Nick Falcone operates according to his own rules. He'll do just about anything to say. Oh, the yeah, he said, yeah. Tactics. What kind of extreme tactics? You name it. Murder. Journalism, sabotage, chaining himself to demolition machinery. Is oh, that's that an interesting right? motive. Last year, there was a situation over in Nashville, just when the oldest theater in the city is about to be torn down, and mind you, had it is there in full force. A girl goes missing. So happens <gasps> the daughter of the demolition boss. They go crazy looking for her. There's a call, just like the one you described. Anyway, to make a long story short, the demolition is called off, and three weeks later, the girl is seen snuggling up to Falcone in a Memphis coffee that's shop. That's not happened Are again. Are you suggesting Nicholas is staging this thing? I'm just saying that there's more to situations like these than meets the eye. Nick Falcone is a real operator, and he likes to humiliate the police. I'm not going to jump on the bandwagon here with this whole royal palladium thing and let him make my unit look like a bunch of chumps. I see. So you aren't going to have any credit with us if you join ranks with him. Does he have a criminal record? Oh, minor stuff. Disorderly conduct, trespassing, yada, yada, yada. But Nick Falcone can slime his way out of a sticky situation like They're no just like trying to pin it on somebody without no doing any investigation. In the neck. There are no good citizenship awards for it either. Look, 
Not the I van. Right for now, there's nothing we can do. And there's nothing you can do either. Why don't you go home and get some rest? I'm sure you've had a long day. Well, this has been very informative, Sergeant Ramsey. What's Maya I'll gonna talk eat? To you tomorrow. Good night, Miss Drew. Where's she pooping? Do y'all know where Maya's pooping? Alright. Back seating is turned off, just so y'all can tell me. Where's she pooping? I heard the whole thing, Nancy. Go get some sleep. I'll keep an eye on things till morning. Is he that's he's that robot dummy? <laughs> Oh my god, that's a funeral wreath. Deepest sympathy. Planning a funeral is such a trip. <laughs> Wouldn't you rather just stop the demo? Oh my god, it's a threat. What's that say? RSV? RVP? I can't tell what that is. Was that the van? I didn't even see the van. I don't think Maya's in the van. Chat, where is she pooping? Oh, did it say R.I.P.? R.L. Stein. Oh, R.L. Stein. <laughs> I'm done for the day, by the way. How many days are in this game? Tell me there's three. No, wait. Surely she... How long can you... How, can, how long can you live in a wall before you poop? Three days? So maybe we'll do the other three in the next one. The music got really intense, though. Okay, three days. Um, oh, just so y'all know, the next time we play this, though, we'll, so like I told y'all at the beginning of this, I'm going to St. Louis. So um, I will be gone Thursday, Friday, Monday, and Tuesday. I will, I'm still streaming. I am going to stream on Wednesday this week. Um, so the next time I stream Nancy Drew will be next Thursday. So we won't be doing this. Wait, we'll, oh my God, chat. I'm going to St. Louis. I'll go try to find Maya. And if I don't find her, yes, exactly. If I don't find her, then we'll have to come back and finish the game. Now, well, I, I, now I know what to expect when I go to St. Louis. I'll be looking out. No one's going to snatch me. I'll go look for Maya. If I don't find her, we'll finish this next Thursday. <laughs> oh my god, I pop up in the game. Oh my god. I fucking love this plan, y'all. <laughs> Dins like Kit Kat Moss. Thank y'all so much for the bits. I appreciate that. I'll look for the... Oh my god. I'm gonna go take a picture of me outside the theater. Is the theater real? Let's look it up. Palladium Theater, St. Louis. <gasps> it's a fucking real theater. Okay, so here's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna take a... Next time I f I'm playing this game... Oh my god, it looks just like how it looks in this game! I'm gonna take a picture outside of it. Oh no. No, it doesn't look like it does in this game. That's actually... I'm looking at a screenshot of the game. I was like, holy shit, it looks just like it does in the game. That's because I'm looking at a screenshot of the game. <laughs> it kind of looks like the Alamo. Uh, if I'm being honest. Anyway. It says the Palladium is a disused and endangered historic building in the Grand Center Arts District of St. Louis, Missouri. Um, so maybe this was based off of that, but it doesn't look like it. It looks like it's boarded up. Uh, oh, they might have reopened it, though. I can't tell. I'll read the wiki. Okay, anyway, I'm going to... Um, tomorrow, here's the schedule. By the way, y'all, here's the schedule. Tomorrow... Oh. Tomorrow, Bratz. Wednesday, Bratz makeup. Thursday, Friday, gone. I'll stop by. I'll, tw I'll live tweet it. <laughs> A very nice gal. Thank you so much. First time sub. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. And Hyper Sprite. Oh, yeah. 
Five five nineteen black hair. I'll be looking for Maya. Don't worry. Thank you so much, Hopper Sprite, and a very nice gal. All right. Okay, I'll see y'all tomorrow. We'll be playing some, uh, let's do the outro music. <sighs> now, if that's not a hoot and that's not a holler, then I just don't know what is. We'll be back tomorrow playing some Bratz Rock Angels. Thanks for all the bits, donations, subs, gift subs, wonderful Patreon patrons. Did the game mess up? I think it's viewed wrong. Anyway, love y'all so much. Thanks to all the Patreon patrons. Y'all keep making these possible. I will see y'all tomorrow. Bye. I'm a waver. Uh, thank y'all for the bits, by the way. Uh, Christy, what you say? Hot day corn dog. Big Island Mike. Thank y'all so much. I will see y'all tomorrow. Bye.